Singapore is encouraging investment in robotics and automation, partly to meet a labour crunch in the country. Robots will serve customers in libraries and cafes and will be working on construction sites. Meet Singapore's advanced workforce. These robots, one to survey construction sites, one to serve freshly brewed coffee, one that scans bookshelves and libraries, and one to roll around zap mosquitoes. Name a task and there's probably a robot assigned to it. As Singapore experiences personnel shortage, a fallout of the pandemic and border restrictions, these bots are here to fill the void. During the, the, the pandemic where borders are closed, uh, it is harder to get workers. And therefore, uh, because we are already used to using uh, robots, uh, it does help us uh, to uh, save on manpower. The manpower shortage is the side effect of the COVID-19 pandemic and the restrictions that came with it. The period from 2019 to 2021 saw a decline of 235,700 workers. In a country of roughly 5.6 million people, that is heavily reliant on foreign workforce. So it turned to robots to help pick up the slack. Singapore has what you call high-density robot workplaces. As per the 2021 World Robots Statistic Reports by the International Federation of Robotics, the nation has 605 robots per 10,000 employees. Second highest after South Korea. As personnel slowly start to trickle in, the general consensus is that removing the need for personnel on site may just be a more sustainable option. That being said, there are those who yearn for more human interaction in the service industry. Here's a question though. How will Singapore strike a balance between human interaction and an increase in automation and robotics? Bureau Report Vion, World is One.